Okay, Toronto Maple Leaf and Montreal Canadiens are playing seven games. So whoever wins four games first wins uh, wins the game. So what are the odds in favor of either team winning? So they're evenly matched. So that means um, the probability of winning or losing is half. So the Maple Leafs winning four games in a row, right? Or the Montreal, um, so maybe I should put T, Toronto winning four times and Montreal winning four times in a row, right? That's just probability of Toronto winning, right? Times by probability of Toronto winning. Like this, or probably a Montreal winning. So Toronto winning to the power of four, Montreal winning to the power of four. So that's half to the power of four plus half to the power of four. That's one over uh, 16 plus one over 16. 2 over 16, 1 over 8. That's the probability. The odds in favor of Toronto or the Montreal sweeping the game, so winning four in a row, is going to be this over probability of winning over 1 minus, right, not winning. So that's 1 over 8 over 7 over 8. So the odd is 1 in 7, right, or 1 over 7. What are the odds against the series going a full seven games? What are the odds against series going a full seven games? So that means um, if we won't go to seven games if someone wins by the fourth game, which is this, right? Or you know someone winning in uh, winning in okay, win in five games, or win in six games. Okay, so really probability of win in four, which we, we already did, which which is right here, one over eight. So this is one over eight. Win in five game is really like Montreal, 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 Toronto, and the last one has to be Montreal. So this this one has to be fixed. Okay, so this scenario, this is fixed. So this scenario here happening is um, half to the power of one, two, three, four, five. Right? Because win or lose is the same probability. But the different ways this can happen, right? This is fixed. This is not allowed to move. But T is allowed to move uh, among one, two, three other positions. So you got times this by four. But we also have times this by two because the M and T can be switched. In other words, a scenario where Toronto wins. Um, so the other case scenario of Win in six games, so the last game has to be, uh, let's say, uh, Montreal. If Montreal is winning this, okay, so that that's fixed, and we have to have three more Montreals here. Let's say like this, maybe Toronto. So the probability of this happening is again half, 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 half to the power of six. Okay, how many different uh, different ways can that happen? What's the permutation of three M's and two T's? Okay, so that's five factorial divided by three factorial and two factorial over um, oh, no, that's the permutation, right? So that's all we want. But we have to times this by two as well because the M, this is a scenario where uh, Montreal wins. So it could also be the, the case that Toronto wins, and it, it would be the exact same count. Okay, so we have 1 over 8. Uh, this is 1 over 32, 4 times by 2. This is 1 over 64. 5 factorial over 3 factorial is 5 times 4. So this is 5 times by 2 times by 2. Uh, that's 8. 1 over 4. All right, that gives you 16, so that's 5 over 16. Okay, so the common base here is 16, 
4 plus uh, 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 11 over 16 so that's the probability of um, it doesn't go to 7 games so what's the odds against right let me just answer it here odds against um, odds of um, in favor of not going towards seven games so not seven is going to be the probability of not going to seven one minus 11 over 16 not right this is not going to probably and this is going to pro um, going to seven games so that's 11 over 16 that's uh, 5 over 16 so 11 11 to 5. So odds against not going to full seven games is five over 12. It's just reciprocal.